So David would ask this question, give me one unequivocal statement that states that the gospel, mark the words, the gospel is corrupt. I repeat his question, give me one unequivocal statement in the Quran that states that the gospel is corrupt. Let me give you the shock. The Quran does not state that the gospel is corrupt. The Quran does not say that the gospel is corrupted or changed or altered. The Quran states that the New Testament is corrupt and the gospel is not the New Testament. The gospel of Jesus Christ is not the New Testament. What gospel is the Quran talking about is the question. What is the Quran talking about? The Quran is talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The actual text which was revealed upon Jesus Christ. Where is it? He says that the Quran does not say that the gospel has that the gospel that the gospel has been corrupted. I agree with that. What do, what do you think? Amen. One hundred percent. And he, it's sad that they don't see how this destroys the prophet of Muhammad and the Quran and proves that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the risen Lord of glory, and we'll unpack that. Muhammad is in a world of hurt. He is yep. in a world of hurt now, based on what Adnan Rashid just admitted. Notice my my initial challenge. Give me one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the gospel has been corrupted. Adnan just said it. The Quran, not only does he not say, I mean, he doesn't... He's not even saying, hey, yeah, there's no unequivocal verse, but there are, the, there are these ones that will interpret that way. He specifically says, The Quran does not state that the gospel is corrupt. The Quran does not say that the gospel is corrupted or changed or altered. Adnan yes. then goes on to say, The Quran states that the New Testament is corrupt and the gospel is not the New Testament. Um, yes, I'm noticing he didn't give chapter and verse. What verse can you think of in the Quran that talks about the New Testament being corrupted? I'm not aware of any any uh, passage that even mentions. Adnan knows more about the Christian scriptures than the author of the Quran. Guys, I want you to understand the embarrassment here. And I feel bad for Adnan because he's fighting a losing battle and mm -hmm. this Islamic ship is sinking badly even worse than the Titanic. Whoever produced the Quran cannot be an omniscient deity mm -hmm. because an omniscient deity would know what to say and how to say it and not come out saying something that Muslims say he meant the opposite mm -hmm. of what the plain reading of the Quran is. I would love to debate Adnan, does the Quran teach that the New Testament's corrupt because the author of the Quran did not even know about the New Testament, never mentions it. So how can the Quran claim <clears throat> something is corrupt that the author of the Quran is ignorant of. I want Adnan, challenge him, show us the verse that says, New Testament corrupted. You won't find it, it's not there, because he knows more about the Christian scriptures than the author of the Quran obviously knew. <clears throat> so no, it's not there. He, he just said, the Quran says, New Testament has been corrupted. So obviously, obviously, Adnan is thinking about some sort of chapter and verse which says, the New Testament has been corrupted. Now, uh, if, if Adnan wants to say that, then he basically has to say that the Quran's been corrupted because he's got some Quran with some extra verses in it that we're not aware of because the Quran we have today does not say that, does not say anything remotely resembling that. Adnan, do you not realize what you're doing? <laughs> you're supposed to defend your religion and defend the claims of the Quran and defend your prophet, but you're actually, it's almost as if we're paying him behind the scenes to pretend to be a Muslim in order to help us destroy the claims of Muhammad and expose the Quran as a satanic fraud. Mm -hmm. He's actually helping us. Mm -hmm. Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Even the enemies of the gospel are being used by Jesus to confirm the truth of the gospel. That tells you how powerful King Jesus is. He is risen, he's alive, whereas Muhammad is dead. Glory to the Lord Jesus.